Four short years ago, you won Iowa. You beat Mitt Romney. You pretty much shocked the country. But just the other day, you talked about doing what is in the greater good for your campaign. Is Monday night your last stand? <laughs> you know, listening to what, what your network was talking about prior to this race, this uh, debate, reminded me of the coverage that many on this uh, floor are getting. This, race, this debate was called the undercard debate. The undercard debate. It wasn't advertised significantly. In fact, the entire hour lead up to this, there was no conversation about any of the four people on this debate stage. And that is the chronic situation. In fact, they, list, they put a poll up from Wall Street Journal, NBC News, and they listed the candidates, and they failed to mention that I wasn't listed. I got zero. Why? Because they, NBC Wall Street Journal poll never includes my name on the list. This is what the media has been doing over the past year in trying to segregate and take Iowans out of the process. What Iowans deserve is to hear from every candidate on an equal footing. Had they ha applied the same rules four years ago, I would have been in the undercard debate. The guy who won the Iowa caucuses would have been in the undercard debate, not talked about. We would have been talking about maybe an entertainer that may have been trying to run. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a chance on Monday to put the record straight about who you want, not who will entertain you, okay. but who will fight for what you believe Senator, in, and I hope you, wanna, you do it. Do you want to name? <laughs> Senator, do you want to name that entertainer you're referring to? Well, look, the entire lead up to this debate was talking about whether Donald Trump is going to show up for the next debate. The people of Iowa, who I know pretty darn well, care a lot about the issues. They care about who's going to be the leader of the, the free world, who's going to be able to take on ISIS and take on Iran and make sure that we're safe. They're concerned about whether their agriculture program, so the renewable fuel standard, is well, going to Senator, be maintained. Since you and we're not hearing any of those things. We're hearing about whether someone's going to show up for the next debate right, or not. Quickly then, after this debate, you mentioned Donald Trump's name. Immediately, you're going to an event across town here in Des Moines as right. a guest of Donald Trump. So, yeah, I are am. you laying the groundwork for maybe your future, perhaps an endorsement of Mr. Trump? You know, this again, more of the more of the politics of trying to get people to throw throw stuff at each other. I'm not going to throw mud at anybody on this stage tonight. I'm not going to throw mud at anybody on the stage later. I'm not going to attack Donald Trump. What I'm going to say, what Mike Huckabee and I were asked to come to an event where vet money was going to be raised to help our veterans. You know, I thought about it. I said, I said, well, wait a minute. Now, if there were no political considerations, and I had some time because I'm not doing anything at 9 o'clock tonight. Well. And so if I had some time, would I go if I could help raise money for veterans? Well, and the answer was, yes, I would, and so I'm going. Well, Bill, can Thank I— Thank you, Senator. Can One I... moment. We'll get to you in a moment, Governor. Right. We have a few coming up.